In this video we are going to talk about, 74 healthy habits that will drastically improve every aspect of your life. So before starting this video, please like, do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel for future updates. Poor health and low energy levels can negatively impact every part of your life. Your creative spark can be destroyed, leaving you with zero inspiration and ideas. Work would become tedious and hard going, and your social life would become a shadow of what it used to be. What you need to transform your life is a healthier lifestyle. One that will bring back your natural energy and zest for life. What makes a healthy habit? Habits dictate how we live, how we perform, and the results we achieve in life. This is why it is so important to have strong, positive habits. Habits consist of something that you regularly do without having to consciously think about. Positive habits are the basis of your success, while healthy habits improve your overall well-being and make you feel good. Good habits include things like regular exercise, a balanced diet, punctuality, and keeping promises. Positive habits make it possible for us to do things without spending exorbitant mental effort. So, in this video we have prepared for you a list of 74 healthy habits that you can follow to improve every aspect of your life. Now let's take a look now at 74 healthy habits you should adopt to transform your life. These habits are broken into four sections. Healthy eating habits. Healthy living habit. Healthy habits for a peaceful mind. Healthy relationship habits. Healthy eating habits. 1. Make sure you chew your food well. Most people gobble down their food, and don't take the time to chew or enjoy it properly. Try slowing down your eating by chewing your food longer than you would normally do. You'll enjoy the taste of your food more. 2. Stock up on healthy food. If all you have in cupboards, refrigerator and freezer ultra-processed foods like fries, chocolate and ice cream, then you'll find yourself snacking on them. To break this habit, Make sure you have loads of healthy foods in your home like dried fruits, seeds and nuts to help satisfy your hunger cravings. 3. Aim to do 10,000 steps a day. It's not too difficult to reach 10,000 steps in a day. Simply walk in the park in the morning and evening, and take the stairs instead of the elevator at work. 4. Take a walk at lunchtime. Lunchtimes don't need to be just for eating. You can use the time to get some valuable air, light and exercise. 5. Freeze your fruits and veggies. This is a great thing to do, as freezing these foods means they'll last until you're ready to eat them. This technique is also a superb way to enjoy healthy fruits and veggies outside of their normal seasonal availability. 6. Focus on colors, not calories. Too many people put their health and diet focus on how many calories they are consuming every day. But a healthy diet is not just about calories. For example, there is a big difference between eating a handful of raw nuts and the same calorie amount of cake. Sure, the latter may taste better to you, but the nuts will always be the healthier choice. 7. Add an extra serving of greens to your plate. One simple way to boost your intake of healthy foods is to add an extra serving of greens to each of your meals. If you normally eat burger and fries, not recommended. Start adding a portion of peas or a green salad to your plate. 8. Be active outside the gym. While going to the gym is commendable, don't make it you be all and end all. Get out in the fresh air and natural light and move your body the way nature intended, by walking and running. 9. Eat carbs every day. From time to time, carbs go out of fashion. However, no carb and low carb diets usually end up as fads. That's because carbs are actually are an excellent source of energy for our bodies. Of course, our ancestors lived and thrived on carb-heavy diets for thousands of years. Just make sure you're choosing healthy carbs instead of refined carbs. 10. Choose healthy fats. Not all fats are the same. Some are good for us, some are not. If you stick to cold-pressed extra virgin olive oil, nuts and avocados, you'll be getting the essential nutrients you need, in the healthiest forms available. 11. Don't eat until you're full. A healthy person's stomach is the size of a fist, while an unhealthy person's stomach can be the size of a football. It's a shocking fact. The cause of the grotesque stomach expansion is overeating. When this is done regularly, the stomach starts to stretch. 
Consequently, the person needs to eat more and more to maintain that full, satisfied feeling. Always eat a little less than you think you need or would like. This will keep your stomach at its natural size, and your body at a healthy weight too. 12. Cut down on your meat intake. If you're a big meat eater, then meat-free Mondays are a great way to immediately reduce your meat intake. And it will also introduce you to the delicious flavors available in vegetarian and vegan meals. 13. Have your sugar intake. You cannot cut out sugar completely from your diet tomorrow. You almost certainly wouldn't be able to do it. That's why a reasonable and attainable goal of having your sugar intake is recommended. You can do this through simple steps like reducing or cutting out sugar in tea or coffee, stopping adding sugar to your cereals, and choosing healthier snacks. 14. Swap soft drinks for water. Soft drinks are typically full of sugar, or artificial sweeteners, coloring and other nasties. They may taste good, but they'll leave you feeling bad. Instead, ditch the soft drinks and switch to drinking mineral water or filtered tap water. Your body will thank you. 15. Buy a reusable water bottle and keep it on your desk. By keeping large, reusable water bottles and keep sipping from it throughout the working day. You need to drink in excess of 500 milliliters of water every day. And the best thing is that you will feel more hydrated, more focused, and definitely healthier overall. Healthy Living Habits 16. Stop Weighing Yourself Some people, perhaps including yourself, are fixated on their weight. They weigh themselves every morning and every night. If they lose weight, they're ecstatic. But if they gain weight, they can quickly sink into depression. Now, you certainly should be aiming to have a healthy weight. However, this will be a natural consequence of eating healthily and exercising regularly. 17. Choose enjoyable exercise. Choose fun exercises like dancing, yoga or a team sport. When exercise is fun, you'll have much more motivation to do it regularly. 18. Avoid over-exercising. People who over-exercise tend to age quicker than they should. Most things in life come down to balance, and exercise is no exception. Over-exercising for months and years will deplete your body of its vital energy, leaving you drained and feeling out of sync. 19. Go to bed 30 minutes earlier than usual. In today's age of Netflix and YouTube, it's all too easy to find yourself watching just one more video. You have an alarm to wake you up in the morning. How about setting an alarm to notify you when it's time to turn off the TV and get yourself to bed? 20. Turn off technology from time to time. Technology is a great thing. The majority of people are staring at one of these devices for most of their morning, afternoon, evening and beyond. Make sure you step out of this cycle of distraction by having regular breaks from your devices. For example, why not switch off all of your devices when you're eating with your friends and family? Make conversation be your focus, instead of being absorbed by online stuff. Healthy habits for a peaceful. 21. Spend time in nature. Being outside has found to have a profound effect on your mental well-being mainly due to exposure to sunshine increasing your serotonin levels. Research has also found that spending even a short amount of time around nature boosts your mood. 22. Have something to look forward to. Being in a state of positive anticipation and expectancy can increase your happiness level according to study published in the official journal of the International Society for Quality of Life Studies. Planning something you enjoy and take comfort in, whether it's a trip, a planned run, meeting friends or curling up with that book you've always wanted to read can keep you from dwelling on any negatives. 23. Meditate. Meditation is probably the most talked about concept in the happiness camps and it has good reasons to be synonymous with good mental health. Studies have shown regular meditation practices reduce stress, anxiety and health issues. It can help reduce overthinking and create a more mindful mindset. It can come in the form of just sitting quietly, yoga, prayer or purposeful breathing. 24. Move your body. Endorphins are the chemicals in the brain that basically reduce the perception of pain. When you move your bodies, these are released and essentially tell your brain that all is well. Even if it's just getting up from your chair, dancing around when doing the housework these actions can increase the feel-good chemicals and elevate your mood. 25. Learn something new. 
People who continue to learn into adulthood have greater overall well-being. This could be because the brain is constantly being refreshed and rewired. In other words, it gives you purpose and focus increasing the ability to cope with stress. So, learn a new language, take up painting or enroll in a course you've always fancied doing to create more mental well-being. 26. Do something nice for someone. Kindness may be seen as just good manners but being genuinely kind towards others increases your own happiness as well as theirs. Giving compliments with pure intentions, holding a door open or offering to pay for a stranger's coffee will keep you feeling good for the rest of the day. Do this on a regular basis and you'll keep your positive mindset topped up as well as creating happiness for someone else. 27. Re-evaluate toxic relationships. Sometimes people's mental well-being declines because they get used to being around people who bring them down. This can damage their self-esteem and self-worth but they often don't associate this with others. You are the sum total of the five people you're around the most. Ask yourself are these five people supportive, kind and fun to be around? If not, it may be time to rethink your relationships. 28. Detox digitally. The dangers of too much social media are commonly said. The comparison game can cause you to feel deflated and like failures if we're not living how others are currently living. This in itself is reason to have a period of detox from your phone or computer. The digital world can take away our present moments and allows us to miss what's really going on around us. Detoxing will give you that sense of freedom of time to do other things that will boost your mental health. 29. Sleep more. Sleep often gets ignored when we're living busy lives but that's no excuse. Getting adequate sleep is paramount to an optimum healthy mind. Sleep deprivation causes mood swings, irritability, health issues and all-round dysfunction that affects how we think and causes us to react negatively to things happening in our daily lives. 30. Do things by yourself. Low self-worth or self-esteem can cause people to believe that they can't do things by themselves. The need to always have someone to do things with can create a sense of neediness and lack of self-love. Going off and doing things by yourself builds confidence and a sense of freedom. 31. Express gratitude. Gratitude has been found to increase happiness and reduce stress creating a more positive mindset. A good habit to start is to think through your day and note everything that was great, from the straightforward commute to work, a smile from a stranger, the delicious food you had for lunch or a text from your friend. 32. Sit and stand up straight. Body language is tightly connected to our mindset. When you slouch, it subconsciously creates the overall feeling of hostility, sluggishness, and negativity. When we sit or stand up straight it creates the feeling of power and confidence. 33. Find something to laugh about. Laughter is powerful as it reduces stress levels, improves mood and even short-term memory. Laughing together with someone is probably the best kind of laughter but just watching a funny TV show or even laughing by yourself can do the trick. 34. Write things down. Writing things down is very powerful because in the act of writing, the brain processes what's being written down more slowly and so it becomes a kind of therapy. It can help you process emotions and identify difficult areas. Writing down goals and dreams can bring about a positive boost and making lists of past achievements can help show you successes in your life. 35. Spend time with your pet. Any loving animal can increase your feelings of positivity in small and meaningful ways. They decrease loneliness, get you active, create loving bonds, keep you present in the moment and give you purpose. 36. Change your routine. While routine can keep us comfortable, it also creates a sense of mundane life and can result in depression. Making just small changes in your routine can trick the brain into thinking you're doing something completely different. Changing things up creates variety and opens you up to different experiences and opportunities. 37. Explore your city or town. Being a tourist in your own town or city is not something people tend to consider. Pretend you're visiting for the first time, what neighborhoods would you visit? Where would you eat? Doing this can help you appreciate where you live and gain a different perspective to a familiar place which helps open up the mind. 38. Practice forgiveness. Forgiveness can be a hard concept for many. But a lot of our angst is caused by our inability to let things go and move on. 
Studies have shown that forgiveness protects against stress and forgiving yourself is important too in order to release any baggage and self-hate and create a happy life. 39. Connect with someone. As social beings, we thrive on connection. When you're feeling depressed, the last thing you want to do is talk or reach out to others. Keep in mind that talking to people, even just short conversations with friends or in support groups, can repair your sense of disconnection immensely. 40. Spend a day being mindful. This is a great way to examine how you move through your day. How does your breakfast taste? How do your legs feel when you're walking? Where did the ingredients for your lunch come from? What emotions are you feeling in each moment? Don't judge yourself but just be in each moment. Bringing your mind to the present moment can help reduce depression in the process. 41. Consider a more positive perspective. A negative mindset creates a negative life. It could simply stem from beliefs you've picked up but understand there is always a choice in how you see things. Choose to consider a different, more positive perspective next time. Doing this regularly will slowly help change the way you look at the world around you. 42. Stop taking photos of everything. While it's great to take photos for keepsakes, spending too much time taking the photo rather than enjoying the moment can decrease our happiness. Psychologist Mary Ann Gary of the Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand has found taking endless photos, manipulates both our memories and subjective interpretations of lived experiences, meaning we end up remembering less and don't fully appreciate the moment. 43. Smile, even if it's fake. Genuine smiles portray our inner happy feelings but research has found even fake smiling tricks the brain into thinking we're happy. So even if you're in a quiet room by yourself, smile and you'll notice over time, it creates a sense of mental well-being. 44. Do something that's out of your comfort zone. One of the main reasons people can become depressed is their need to stay comfortable. Breaking out of comfort zones is never as scary as your brain imagines it to be and it creates confidence, well-being and opens up new and exciting possibilities. It results in better mental health. Healthy relationship habits. 45. Respect your loved ones. The foundation of any good relationship is the level of respect within it. Being honest, avoiding gossip, and valuing your loved ones for the unique individuals they are sets the tone for all your interactions. 46. Thank them. Showing gratitude can be as simple as a verbal, thank you, or a short note, but the effects are far-reaching. Whether your partner just did a load of dishes or your friend swooped in at the 11th hour to save the day, don't miss the chance to say thanks. 47. Express yourself. If you really love someone, don't be afraid to let them know. Say, I love you, often, and when you say it, mean it. Tell your significant other, friends, and family how much you care about them. Be generous with your affection. 48. Take a walk. Taking a stroll through the neighborhood is a great way to reconnect with your friend or partner. These walks are a great chance to get some fresh air and catch up on life without having to spend an arm and a leg. 49. Make each other laugh. Humor is a powerful way to bond with one another. Never miss a chance to make your loved ones laugh. Be a goofball, watch a comedy, and don't be afraid to crack a joke at your own expense occasionally. 50. Set goals together. This habit is especially important for romantic relationships, in which you're operating as a team. When you don't set goals together, you risk sabotaging one another. Uniting to overcome a challenge is a powerful way to bond. 51. Take up a new hobby. Nothing kills friendships and romances faster than boredom. Don't let things stagnate. Pick up a new hobby that you're both interested in every now and then. Challenge one another to perfect your skills, and reap the benefits of growing together. 52. Do something nice, just because. A great surprise requires thoughtfulness. It can be as simple as showing up with a cup of coffee or picking up your partner's favorite treat on your way home. Send your mother a bouquet of flowers at random, or offer to help your friend with a project. You'll make their day and show them how much you care. 53. Relax together. It's not necessary to turn every moment together into an elaborate outing. Friendships and romantic relationships with staying power are those which can thrive in everyday situations. Learn to love watching TV together, going for walks, or sharing simple meals. 
54. Take time for yourselves. Even the closest couples and friends need time to explore their individual interests. You don't have to like the same things to get along. Your individuality is likely part of what drew you to one another. Make sure that you and your loved ones get time to nourish their talents and interests. 55. Reconnect on a regular basis. Texting and calling 24-7 isn't a healthy habit, but touching base is great for a romantic relationship. For friends and family, it isn't necessary to send a message every day, but connecting periodically gives you a chance to share your lives. 56. Do chores together. For couples, working in the house together prevents one party from feeling resentful toward the other. A 2007 study found that 62% of couples believe that sharing chores leads to a successful partnership. 57. Take time to snuggle. Physical contact influences how you feel about your significant other. The act of cuddling causes your bodies to release oxytocin, a hormone responsible for bonding. Hugging also causes the release of oxytocin, so this healthy habit applies to non-romantic relationships as well. 58. Tell them what you love about them. Saying, I love you, is great, but sometimes it's nice to back the sentiment up with some examples. Let your friends and partner know what specific attributes you love about them. This confidence boost helps them weather whatever storms come their way. 59. Pay attention. Asking thoughtful questions and responding may seem like common sense, but many friends, family, and love relationships lack attentiveness. Listen deeply. Make eye contact. When a loved one talks to you, they should feel that they have your undivided attention. 60. Figure out their love language, and speak it. The five love languages, secrets to love that last, tells us that there are five main ways that people give and receive love. Knowing your significant other's love language helps you learn the best ways to show your love based on their needs. It's worth noting that the love languages are not limited to romantic relationships. 61. Ask about their day. This is a great way to start any conversation, whether you're chatting with your dad or talking to your best friend. You'll get a ton of information that can help you be present for them, and you'll show that you're genuinely interested in their life by asking this simple question. 62. Be honest. Honesty is critical for any relationship. When you care about someone long, you must be able to tell them the truth. They're counting on you to be someone they can trust. Besides, it's kinder than lying, and you never have to worry about them finding out that you fibbed. 63. Be their cheerleader. We all encounter challenges, but having someone who can cheer you on your worst day is a real gift. Be the person who can give them the encouragement they need to face whatever is in front of them. Sometimes your loved ones just need to know that you believe in them. 64. Unplug to reconnect. You can't have quality time if you've got your heads buried in your phones, video games, or laptops. If you're out to lunch, make a no-screen policy so that you can actively listen to one another. 65. Show that you're loyal. Fidelity is a no-brainer in a romantic relationship. Fidelity isn't the only way to show loyalty, though. In all your relationships, be sure to shut down gossip and stand up for loved ones even if they can't stand up for themselves. 66. Be the person they can count on. Your partner and friends should know that whether they had a bad day at work, or they're sick, you are always ready to jump in and help. When things are going poorly for your family, your parents and siblings, know they can turn to you. You're there on time every time they need you to be, and you mean what you say. 67. Pull your weight. It's unfair to expect one partner or friend to shoulder the burden for everything. You don't have to split every responsibility down the middle, but you do need to reach an agreement so that neither of you carry the load alone. This applies to things like household chores, but it also relates to things like deciding where to eat or choosing an outing. 68. Make time for them. Stephen Covey, author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People once said, The key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. If you want your relationships to last, you have to make them a priority. Schedule appointments with loved ones if you have trouble making the time to connect with them. 69. Love without judgment. To have real love, you have to love the real person. To see who someone truly is, they have to feel safe enough to show you without feeling judged. Your family, 
friends, and significant other should know that you love them, warts and all. 70. Forgive their mistakes. You aren't perfect, and neither are your friends, your partner, or your family. When someone you love messes up, put yourself in their shoes. If it's not worth ending the relationship over the mistake, forgive the person. 71. Be vulnerable and accept vulnerability. Being vulnerable can require practice in friendships and romantic relationships. With friends, this is your chance to show them who you are, and it gives them permission to be more open with you. With your partner, vulnerability with one another builds trust. 72. Start the day with them. For couples, beginning each day with your partner is a show of solidarity. Even if you work opposite schedules, you can find ways to share the beginning of a new day together. Write a note or spend a few minutes in the morning seeing them off. 73. Call it a day together. You don't necessarily need to be on the same sleep schedule as your partner, but winding down together is a healthy habit. This act builds trust, and it gives you one more chance to reflect on the day. 74. Make decisions as a team. Independence is great, but when a decision you need to make will have a serious effect on your family, friends, or partner, it's best to include them in the process. Remember that you're in it together, and take time to establish how your team will communicate about major life decisions. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoy the video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification before you go. Thanks for watching.